Hey guys, this is John with the FJ Cruiser channel. Um, I wanted to bring you a quick video here um, on my Tapui tent, um, I guess contraption jig or whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, I needed a way to put my tent on top of my car and I searched far and wide on the internet on trying to find getting some ideas and um, I saw some things I liked, other things I didn't, but so I ended up coming up with kind of this design um, which is basically uh, comprised of um, these are 12 foot 2 by 4s and I put basically a, a hinge a door hinge in between so I could you know open it and so I've got two of those and then I've got two 2 by 4s that are going to go in between these guys to kind of making like a, a, a sawhorse uh, and these were originally 10 foot 2 by 4s and I cut them down to eight foot six in retrospect i should have just left them at 10 foot because there's plenty of room to you know to drive the fj between it but there's not much room to open the doors and get out so i have to do a dukes of hazards and kind of jump out the window if i'm by myself um and then these boards here are basically uh braces that are going to go um to, to keep it from you know wobbling side to side um then I bought just a you know a bunch of hardware from Home Depot. Uh, they vary in in um, lengths and stuff. Um, I can try to put um, a description down um, what kind of hardware I bought in the description below. Uh, but they're basically you know three and a half inches or two and a half inch um, nuts and bolts um, to kind of you know go through two two by fours and secure everything together. Um, so, and then on the tent side, I basically came up with this kind of, this configuration. Uh, I wanted something that, um, you know, I could definitely work under and walk under it um, and elevate it up in the, on the ceiling. But, it, um, so I built like a kind of a square frame and put some, um, some wheels on it. So when I, when I bring it down, I can, you know, wheel it out to the um to the jig so i can lift it up hoist it up um and on four corners i put these motorcycle uh straps um i found these i don't remember where i found them but i will definitely you know put a link in the description below if you're interested in those and the reason why i wanted these is that they're each individually um you know secured so the likelihood that you know, two or more of those are going to fail at once and fall down. Uh, it's very unlikely. And then, um, just as a safety net, I put two straps under here. There's not much tension on this at all. This is just, um, you know, in case something fails and it's going to fall, then it's I have one more uh, redundancy and safety there. So, because I work under here all the time, and my car is parked under here, and I don't want, most importantly, I don't want that to get damaged. Um, and then on the top side the way i kind of hoisted up and down i got a a winch from harbor freight it was fairly cheap i think 79 dollars or something like that on on one of their sales um so i've got that up there to kind of you know do all the heavy lifting most of the way up and then when i get when it gets to you know halfway up then i can just use the straps to kind of finish the job and, and hoist it the way up all the rest of the way up but um um that um that pulley i used that also on top of that jig and so that's kind of how i elevate the this thing this high up and, and to drive the fj under it so anyways um i'll put a quick video once i once i set up um the jig down there i'll, I'll do one more shot so you could see like the final the final thing put together and then um Maybe I'll do a quick video of hoisting this thing up in the air and dropping it on top of the car. Um, but basically, just one more idea out there on the internet for you guys to look at because there's several, but none of them matched exactly what I wanted. Maybe this will give you one more idea uh, to create something of your own. So um, anyways, let's get this guy down, put the jig together, hoist it up there and put the thing on top of the car. All right, so let's just let me say something real quick here. Um, 
one thing that I did to kind of facilitate this because none of this is like precise, you know, drilling holes. They're just, um, you know, at the moment I just drilled a hole and over two boards to kind of match things up. So I knew that if these boards got mixed around and that board went here and that one, whatever, so the, the holes may not line up. So kind of what I did is I sharpied, you know, um, some marks on the board, 1A, 2B, and then on this board itself, I did the same matching. So I know which boards, which holes line up with which holes. Um, just an idea if you do something similar, um, unless you do precise, you know, measure, drill a hole and everything's identical. Uh, otherwise, some holes may not line up. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say about that. Right, guys so let's take a quick look at this so i got everything bolted down now pretty tight and you know lifted it up in the air um, these side pieces here they're just they're just to keep the legs from you know in the event that it wants to uh, open up and fall down so there's really not much pressure on this the way it's designed um, i cut like angles on all four legs so they're pretty flat against the concrete and um it's the the harder the hardest thing is actually to bring it down uh, you actually need two people because when you start, you know, widening the legs, and this thing is pretty heavy, and then it wants to kind of quickly unfold and fall down. So, with, but with two people on each side, it's it's doable. One person, uh, I've yet to figure out a, a safe way of doing it. I've done it, but it's it kind of wants to fall on top of you. But um, anyway, so now we're gonna get the tent, bring it down, and hook up the uh, the the pulley on the top side and start winching this guy up. So let me show you kind of the way I've got it set up here. Um, basically bought one of these um, deer hoists and I just took the bracket from it. And the same, this, the same straps that I use as a redundancy uh, safety, I just strap it to itself and put, the, put that hook through it on both sides. And um, that's it, that's in, you gotta find a, the center of it because that side of the tent's a little bit heavier than this side so I usually go about I don't know two or three inches on that side of center and it seems to balance out pretty good um, so basically that's it so these motorcycle straps um, when putting it up it's basically do it in reverse lift it up halfway put these straps on there and and then um, you know these are auto latching so um, you know, as soon as you strap it on there, if something happens, it's not going to fall down. Um, what you could do also is, you know, hook it up low, you know, before you um, before you hoist it up. And so therefore you can just have somebody if you have a second person to kind of just keep pulling on these straps and lifting it up um, as you lift it up, then you're really secure. Right. Even if something fails here and it's going to crash, you're going to catch it. Um, but I've been doing this for a while now, a few times um, of loading it and unloading it, and I haven't had any problems. The only thing is I don't trust that Harbor Freight winch um, a whole hell of a lot, but I figure the worst it could do is the motor burn out and it just won't go up or down. It won't just spool out. Um, so anyways, um, now we're just going to wheel it out and do the reverse on, on the jig 
and lift it up and put it on top of the car. So hang on for that. All right, so let me show you a quick close up of the winch and how I have it connected to the ceiling and on the A-frame. So the winch comes with these two brackets. So I bought like a, a one inch uh, steel tubing and drilled two holes in it and put these eyelids on it. So on the ceiling, I have this two by four that's screwed onto the, um, I guess the trusses up in the attic. And I have some, some hooks on there. So it basically just hooks on there and then you, you know, it's secured and you can winch up the tent. Now on the A-frame, I basically have this three quarter inch plywood and I have some hardware um, bolted on there. Um, and these, I guess these screw on links go in here and they will also go on these guys. So basically this will be on top of the A-frame and the motor will hang like between, between the A-frame. Um, so it's pretty secure and there's no way, nowhere for it to go. Um, so let's take a look at it. All right guys, so here's kind of how it looks like on the A-frame. So basically I have that sitting on top and it just connects like that. And it's, it's pretty sturdy because it, it really can't, it really can't go anywhere because the board doesn't move either way enough to slide, be, you know, slide that way and fall through. So the trick is to make this a little bit wider on both sides so that there's, you know, it, it can't slide either way. So it's stuck on there pretty good and it distributes the load a little bit more evenly across the 2x4. All right guys, so now I just gotta take this apart the same way I put it back together. And that's how I get my tent back on top of the car with a little help. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments below, I'd like to hear from you. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.